Today, we are going to see how to take over hosts on DME Storage. First, let's go to the Hosts page by choosing Inventory, Compute, Hosts. On the displayed page, we can view the hosts that have been taken over, which include automatically added hosts and manually added hosts. The Hosts page provides two views, the Storage Host view and the Hosts view. The Storage Host view shows hosts according to the storage device. You can view their names, IP addresses, health statuses, operating systems, initiators, and LUN quantities. In the Hosts view, you can view the names, IP addresses, statuses, takeover statuses, operating systems, storage devices, initiator quantities, and LUN quantities of hosts. If a host is connected to more than one storage device, you can click the encircled ellipsis in the Storage Device column to view all storage devices. In the Takeover Status column, you can view the takeover details of each host, such as its name on other storage devices, IP address, and operating system. If the information is inconsistent, click the Refresh button and select the inconsistent items. In the Operation column, operations such as modifying, synchronizing, creating topology view, and removing are provided. Next, let's see how we can add a host. The method varies depending on the view. In the Storage Hosts view, you add a host by sending a command to the connected storage device and creating a host. First, click Create. On the Create Host page, enter information in the storage device. Host name and OS boxes and select an initiator. Then click OK. You can also click Add to To-Do Tasks if you want to do it later. After the host is created, you can view it in the list. The host view also allows you to add a host. The difference is that you don't need to add it through any storage device. Instead, you directly create a host on the DME storage system. You only need to select storage ports. The host will be automatically associated with storage devices later during resource provisioning. Click Add. The Add Host page is displayed. Select No Authentication for the Authentication mode box. Enter the host name, select an operating system and ports, and configure other parameters based on your needs. For the Authentication mode box, you can also select Account and Password and enter the host IP address, username and password. The added host will also be displayed in the list of the corresponding view. DME Storage also supports host group management. The host group page also provides two views, namely the storage host view and the host view. You can create host groups. Click Create. On the Create Host Group page, enter a name for the new host group and select Hosts. You can add hosts to an existing host group. Click the host group and select Add Hosts from the Operation drop-down list. Then select Hosts to be added on the Add Host page. To remove a host from an existing host group, select Remove Host from the Operation drop-down list and select the host to be removed on the Remove page. Initiators can also be managed based on the storage device. In the Initiators view, you can view initiator information like WWPN, IQN, NQN, status, alias, and associated hosts. You can change the alias of an initiator. Click Modify in the Operation column to go to the Modify Initiator page. Then enter an alias and click OK. You can also delete initiators that are not associated with any hosts. DME Storage supports unified vCenter server management. On the home page, choose Inventory, Compute, vCenter Servers. On the vCenter Servers page, you can view all clusters, ESXi hosts, and data source. You can click a cluster or a host in a cluster to query their information. Next, let's see how to add a vCenter server. Click Add to go to the Add vCenter Server page. Then enter the IP address, port, username, and password, and click OK. You can also remove a vCenter server just by clicking Remove. 